welcome to our video on global health policy where we'll be exploring how epidemiology contributes to the public health policies creation and practice as healthcare inequalities are explored. First up, we need to define these healthcare inequalities. We have health equity versus health inequity versus health disparity. And then lastly, we'll end and see how these contribute to public health policy. So first up with some definitions of healthcare. Number one, health equity is where everyone has the same equal opportunity to obtain their highest level of health. Whereas this can be compared to number two, health inequities, which refer to barriers that prevent individuals and communities from accessing the conditions necessary to attain their highest level of health and reaching their full potential. This differs from health disparities, which is number three. This is going to refer to the differences in health status between people related to social or demographic factors such as race, gender, income, or even geographic region as in global health. All of these three terms do contribute to public health policy and I've pulled up an image here. These are the three core functions of public health assurance, assessment, and policy development, along with 10 public health services within the circle listed. To simplify, I'll pull up another image here in a bit that breaks down just the three core functions. Again, health disparities specifically are what are going to help us determine how policy is going to be created, implemented, developed, and then evaluated within differing populations. From here, we'll go through brief examples of health inequalities that exist on a global scale. A lot of the healthcare inequalities that we see within the healthcare system is related to poor economic and environmental conditions. So for example, socioeconomic status that is abbreviated here as SES. We can think of this in terms of a pyramid where we have the highest income and educational level at the top whereas the lowest is at the bottom of the pyramid and the quality of health care improves at the top as well as access which both together increase the health care quality of that population whereas the people at the bottom of the pyramid, which tend to comprise a larger portion of the population, those who have lower socioeconomic status, their health status does tend to suffer because they have decreased access to health care, they have decreased housing, all of which can lead to decreased health care. In addition, these people have decreased quality of diet that can also contribute to poor health care outcomes. They may even have decreased job outlooks, perhaps more dangerous occupations where they are more prone to accidents and this can also lead to poor health outcomes. Also individuals with a lower SES cannot afford health care treatment and this puts them at greater health risks. Additionally, race is another factor and this can play a large role in the healthcare system where African Americans, Native Americans tend to have higher morbidity rates as well as mortality rates, this refers to death rates, as well as decreased access to health care and therefore decreased quality of health care. And although some or maybe even many of the racial differences that we see in health care can be attributed to the causes that we listed above with the SES, it does not explain everything that we see. 
even when economic differences and types of insurances are taken into account, minorities are still likely to receive both everyday standard health care as well as treatments for life-threatening conditions. There are also many important gender differences in health and health care. For example, men typically utilize fewer preventative services like vaccines and checkups, even when they are available to them. While women require reproductive services, and unfortunately sometimes access to these services are reduced because of politics and local laws. And while a lot of attention is placed on finding treatments for conditions such as heart disease, Often these studies focus on men and don't always include women. And since symptoms of diseases can differ by gender, women can suffer from this lack of medical research. Another group that suffers from healthcare disparities is the LGBT community. These individuals might face discrimination from healthcare workers, which can often limit healthcare access. Transgender individuals especially may face a lot of discrimination from within the healthcare system, and they might find a hard time finding a healthcare provider who has experience working with transgender individuals and can cater to their needs, and this can lead them to be reluctant to obtain services when they really need them. And with this said, this next slide is going to outline some recent global health initiatives in an effort to increase access as well as quality to health care to all people globally. In 1990, specifically, the United Nations, the UN, met together and put a list of goals that they were to achieve by 2015, which they met again and set another list of goals where they adjusted for the year 2030 where they will meet again. And I'll pull up a picture here in a moment of these different goals. These are very important sustainable millennium developmental goals, again developed by the UN. The World Health Organization is a great resource on this. And as you can see here below, there are 17 goals aiming to end world poverty, decrease hunger rates, increase overall global health and well-being, as well as increasing the quality of education, increasing gender equality, as well as ensuring access to clean water and sanitation to all populations, affordable and clean energy. This was a big one that made it onto the list, our environment climate change, and this includes for all life, below water as well as on land. Different decent work and economic growths were also discussed for industrial development. Reduced inequalities. This is number 10. This is perhaps the most important goal. This is what the purpose of this video has been to educate on the different health inequalities that exist globally. Remember, inequities versus disparities do have different meanings. And with that said, this is a summary slide of everything that was discussed. Please subscribe below, like, and share.